How do we? Oh, so that screen looks awesome. Engine braking, traction control, ABS, ABS, lean angle, all of those things. This is a U.S. spec bike. That's why it's coming up in miles per hour. All right, so you're gonna throw the key in there, Chris? Let's check it out. This is the best part, right? <laughs> oh, we got the key. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, low fuel. Of course. All right, you gonna start her up? No. <laughs> I'm just, just <laughs> bugging you. <laughs> Yeah, and it's quite interesting how they are uh, rocking them right off of the triples here for the clip-ons. Mm -hmm. Now for racing, do you think like Woodcraft, all these companies are going to come off of here or still be able to rock on the fork? If they'll do uh, whatever. They'll, have, they'll be like attack or whatever, right? With, I like uh, the They'll triples. make some new stuff. Yeah, exactly. But this old stuff will probably still fit on just lower. That was probably really good under sunlight with that matte screen like that. Yeah. Oh, here's the lights too. Oh, I mean, but you can go in and change. You can go in and change the brightness too. Uh, let me go down to vehicle settings, connections, display. You go there. Are you then, making that? Yeah. Enter? So you you rotate up and down yeah. where you want to go through the through whatever's on the menu, and then, and then you it. then you select like push over or pull yeah. back depending on what you need. So right now it's at 100. It's at 100. Yeah. percent So it's probably how I'd run it all the time. Right? Well, at nighttime. Depending on race, how bright. Night, night races. Well, I mean, don't <laughs> Right, so when you want to get out of something, you just pull back on the wheel, and okay. then wherever you see arrows, right, then you know it's you know, you're either pulling back, pushing forward, oh, okay. rotate yeah. up or down. So you're just using your thumb. Interesting. Yeah, they're just right. like the RTs. Yeah, so and then you, go out of you want to settings. get out of there, then you push up on the menu button. Oh, okay. You're back into settings. So if you, you're, are you pulling back? Or are you rotating right now? Right now, right now I'm pulling back. Okay, yeah. Right, so so wherever you see like that style arrow, then you then go you've up got, and down. You've got the menu button with oh, that, I those, see. those yeah. arrows on the button. The design yeah. of the button is on the screen. So if you pair your phone to it, then you can do telephone calls. You got your music, navigation, it's that it takes from your phone. Okay, like you just, Google Maps up or whatever. Yeah, you yeah. do. Oh, you, that's you, nice. You huh? download uh, the BMW Connected app and you have to have a headset and a boom mic. Okay. And then you can get into that, right? The, yeah. the sports settings that you can go into. Is so is this like you. traction? How do we. Oh, so that screen looks awesome. Engine braking, traction control, ABS, ABS lean angle, all of those things. This is a U.S. spec bike. That's why it's coming up in miles per hour. Is it, okay. Can you change it from the U.S. to no? So U.S. bikes are U.S. bikes and Canadian bikes. Are Canadian really? Bikes. They yes. don't let you switch the kilometers. No, they don't let you do that. I mean, we could do that even on the other ones. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, with my Canada uh, one, I, I have in miles per hour kilometer. I think I would did. Yeah. I don't think so. Huh? I don't remember exactly. <laughs> I think it was an option, but. Now this little turn buckle that you're hanging on to, this rotating thing. Uh huh. No, when you crash, like we do. Yes, you do. Yeah. Are they um, replaceable <laughs> alone? Um, I you don't know. I don't know. Yeah. This is the first I'm just time hoping it's not like connected here. to. Oh, everything's connected. Yeah. Right? But yeah, um, I, I don't know. I'd have to check to yeah, see yeah. whether or not because you can buy it separately for the touring bikes and the adventure bikes. Okay. Right. So it's, it's just a multi. So is this a new wheel. multifunction wheel compared to what they were showing earlier on they, these bikes? Well, they never had this on the double R before. Oh. Well, this I know the dash is new too, but dash is new as yeah, well. Yeah, 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 exactly. So you get in, right? Miles, empty, volts. PSI. Does it have tire sensors? Yeah, yeah, it's got tire pressure sensors. Right. So you got another arrow down at the bottom. So you just hit your menu button again. Then you can go in and you know reset things that you've changed. So you can do. Oh, it'll give you all that stuff. All that stuff. There's your tire pressures. 38, 42, oh yeah, right from the factory. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool though. Uh -huh. So due date, service. Service. We set that ourselves. This <laughs> is first, this is still a pre-production bike, so yeah. some of the hmm. some of the stuff might be off a little bit. Mm -hmm. and then obviously there's no, no gas in obviously yeah. Back to the next filling station. The same filling style, yeah, with key. Yep. Yeah, that's the same. That's the same. <laughs> yeah, that's the same right there. Yeah. Who cares about it, right? Yeah. Yeah.